All right, welcome back to the Knives Fast channel. Everybody say hello to Ren and Stimpy, Powder Toast Man, Log TV, and Choo Choo, and let's get started with today's video. So we're ready to go with this one. This is the Devo Knives Growler V2, guys. Just been talking to Kevin, Lefty EDC, on uh, Instagram here, getting some of the details, and now I'm going to share those with you. So as you know, uh, the original Growler uh, was done by Shield and Knives for Devo. Uh, and you know what? It's a good-looking knife. Um, but there were some issues there. You know, let's not hide this. There was some detent issues where people had really light detent. Uh, it, it seemed like the, they were up and down and some were good and some were really bad and some were bad. And uh, there were other issues and, and different things like that. And then there were just some design things that I think Kevin and Colin decided they'd like to do differently. For one thing, some people thought the hole was too big, uh, so they've made the hole smaller. You'll see in a minute. Uh, for another thing, uh, I think we all, a lot of us agreed that this would this feels great in the hand, but it would feel even better with contoured scales. We now have that. Um, and, you know, it ended up going to a totally different OEM. These are being made by Kubi. So we'll do some more comparisons on this in a minute. So my understanding is you will have this white G10 uh, with a black blade like this. You're also going to have, and I forget the, the color, but it's an aluminum handle with a liner lock. And then a carbon fiber carbon fiber handle, Kruber Fluber, with... Uh, uh, if, wow, uh, with a liner lock. Um, and, I, you know, I've got all the all the details here that we have so far because, again, these just went into production. It's probably going to be late summer. So, guys, this is not a full review. This is more of just kind of an overview um, and a comparison between the two. But let me just go over a few things uh, right out of the box, okay? So this will be a White Mountain Knives exclusive. There will, will not be a pre-order. They're being made. They'll be here. You buy them, you get them. Just like the Pony Stouts, except these are being made by Kubi. Um, somewhere in the $100 to $110 range, and these will be 154 cm um, G10 probably around 100 and aluminum carbon fiber being like 110. Nothing is set with that. They might change, uh, but that's kind of what they're thinking right now. Um, and that's kind of the details. Now, let's kind of look at this, guys. So we've got this nice contour G10, and you can tell that because of the banding here. Um, and you, just like the other one, you have a left-hand clip option, right-hand clip option. Um, but this time you have a... Uh, wow, a bent uh, wire clip and you have it reversible. So it uh, slots and a screw on both sides. And there is your clip. I love a wire clip. You know that. There is a little bit sticking out of your pocket, but not a whole lot. And you're good to go. You have a lanyard hole. You have a black backspacer, which I believe is steel, but I'm not positive. Um, you do have milling inside for weight reduction. Yes, you do. And you have a liner lock. And then in this case, a completely sterile black wash blade, which I've been cutting with. And by the way, um, very thin, wow, uh, very thin and sticky sharp. As you can, whoops, hold on. Might help if I actually hold on to the cardboard. Um, but you can see, definitely a cutter. Uh, very, very cool. And now, let me wipe the blade because it was already gross and now I made it worse because I have been cutting quite a bit with this knife. And that's the thing about a black coated blade. You, you, you end up with streaks pretty easily, but you know, it still looks really cool. So you've got this really good looking knife. Now, action wise, the detent is way better. Uh, you can see, I mean, it is stout. It just pops out like nobody's business, either with the thumb flick or the middle finger flick. Uh, it is great. Then we have decent access to the lock bar, very good access, and it just wants to drop. Um, it comes usually right to your thumb, but I'm trying not to bang the crap out of my thumb because of that corner right there. likes to come down right on the corner of my thumb, as you can see. So I usually just ease it down and then let her drop uh, is what I do. So really cool. Man, this black and this white is really fighting with the camera. It is dead nut centered, as Kevin would say. I'm just going to do that for him. Good lockup, like 10 to 15, no, 15 to 
15, I would say. Um, no side to side, no up and down. Feels really, really nice uh, as well. Now let's do the comparison with the original Growler. So uh, first we're going to start this way. Now um, you can see it definitely looks thinner and that's because of that contouring. Now it's not really thinner but it feels and looks thinner. You do have a four finger grip and you got a nice place to choke up here. Now on this one, you had no jimping and Mattisfaction said, boo, boo. And so Kevin added jimping all the stinking way out here. If you have the thumb the size of Goliath, you have jimping. If you wanna be back here, you have jimping. If you wanna be there, if you wanna be there, you got jimping for days on this one. Now here's your hole comparison. You can see the hole is significantly um, shorter, making the middle finger flick and the thumb flick way better. In my opinion, you had a, a bent steel clip over here. You have a bent wire clip over there. Um, and yeah, I mean, just really cool. Now, um, the plunge is also a little bit better. You can see here that plunge comes all the way out right there to the tip of the finger choil. And in this case, the plunge ends way earlier. Uh, so you have plenty of sharpening life in this knife. So basically what this, oh, and by the way, one more thing, uh, which is not my favorite thing, but it, it doesn't bother me either. You got a lock bar chamfer right there, but on this one you have a chamfer and that goofy scalloping that is not my favorite or jimping or whatever you want to call it. I don't care for that on a lock bar uh, because if I sit here fidgeting, it tends to start irritating my thumb. Uh, but again, not the end of the world, not my, you know, not my knife, but there you go. So there is your comparison. They are the same knife as you can see as far as dimensions. So let's get our Ontario Rat 1 out of here. And you can see there, we'll just go down to this one. It The Rat 1 is considerably bigger. And here is your Rat 2, which is going to be a very similar length, but a little bit shorter, as you can see. So really, really cool. Um, so again, won't be available till probably late summer or, you know, things could change. But um, these are being made by Kubi in China for Devo. And again, aluminum option, carbon fiber option, and um, G10 option coming your way in the $100-ish range with 154 CM steel. So very cool. What do you guys think of this one? Let me know down below. Do all the things like comment, subscribe, notification bell, everything and anything you can do. And I cannot wait for you guys to get one of these in your hand. You remember I was the one tooting the horn of the Devo Pony Stout early on. And so now here we are tooting the horn of the improvements on the Growler V2. And I give it two thumbs up and way, way better. I like the Growler, uh, but the V2 is way better in my opinion. So uh, matter of fact, that'll probably be the, ba be the title of this video. Something like way better. <laughs> I don't know. So there you go, guys. Thank you so much for all you do for the channel and for supporting and watching the Knives Fast channel.